37 years ago, John Murray made a promise to Yvonne Fletcher as she lay dying. He would find who was responsible for shooting her as they policed an anti-Gaddafi protest at the Libyan embassy in April 1984, and he never gave up. We have proven we were right all along. Sally Abraham Mabruk was responsible for Yvonne's murder. The courtroom erupted in applause as the High Court judge announced that Colonel Gaddafi's close aide may not have pulled the trigger, but was jointly liable for what had happened. He knew there were guns, he did nothing to stop their use, and he made sure pro-Gaddafi protesters were out of the line of fire. Number one, number two, uh, that's where the shots came from. Mabruk was arrested in connection with Yvonne Fletcher's death in 2015, but the case was later dropped as some evidence could not be revealed for reasons of national security. I hope that the CPS now will review their original decision not to charge uh, Mr Mabrook with criminal matters. If they don't, then I may well take out a, a, a private uh, criminal prosecution. Mabrook isn't allowed in the country and chose not to be represented in the case. During the trial, the court heard how Mr Murray had suffered guilt about what had happened to his close friend and colleague here in St James's Square all those years ago. But himself welling up, the judge, Mr Justice Martin Spencer, said rather than feel guilty, Mr Murray should feel proud of how he conducted himself. The nation mourned the young police officer's death. She was only 25. A memorial service in the square where she died was attended by the Prime Minister at the time, Margaret Thatcher. For John, bringing the case to court was never about the money. He was only fighting for one pound in damages. This was about a vow made to a dying friend, a promise which he has finally fulfilled. Emma Birchley, Sky News, Central London.